y'all. Um, if the audio is bad, I apologize. I don't have my mic or anything. I left it all in the truck. And for those who don't know, I don't have a car yet. I've just been saving my money, chilling. Um, but I am home. Um, and I also left my stand in the car, so I'm recording while holding it. So I apologize for that too. But in this video, I'm going to be showing what I made in the course of seven weeks working on the road total. Uh, I'm going to show each week one by one. And then I'm going to also show... I probably try to, I'm still not good with editing, especially because I do all the editing on my phone. So I'm going to get straight into it and um, try to show you all the total of what I made for the entire seven weeks straight. And uh, keep in mind too, I'm also, I mean I might throw that in the video, but I'm also going to get paid a $1,700, 14 I'm sorry, a $1,400 check uh, for my home time since I worked seven weeks. Um, and I might make this video over a course of multiple days because with me being home, I don't really feel like making the video now that I am home. Uh, but I'm going to do that for y'all anyway. Hopefully I'll drop that this video in a couple days. I should be done with everything. With that being said, I'm going to do a voiceover showing the pay and everything. So hope you guys enjoy. Peace. All right, y'all. So I'm, I might I might as well just do all seven weeks. I, I went ahead and uh, edited each photo, so I'm gonna just do the seven weeks straight. So that way I don't procrastinate this video any longer, um, and I'll try to break down everything. So as we see here, this is August 15th to the 21st. This is the very first week I went back on the road, and I went right when pay started. So this is about as accurate as I get, as I can get it. And I just want to explain. I know I don't have to, but I feel like it. I'm gonna um, break down why the things I crossed out. Um, let's see here. My bad. Try to. Boom. Okay. So as you see for these, what I crossed out here. Let me stop writing. Uh, how I stop? Oh, boom. So for those right there. It's just my employee name and personal information, my employee number, and my manager number. I'm only explaining that so if y'all like, man, what are, you, what are you crossing those out for? That's it, just to not have uh, anybody's information up there that don't want to be up there. So as you can see here, my bad, still learning this, but as you can see here for this $100, this is layover pay. So they had me sitting there waiting, so it was $100 for that. Um, as you can see, under this whole row here, I'm getting paid 64 cents a mile. Um, this is what I made for each load, and then how many loaded miles for the corresponding um, load and everything. And then this is my empty miles, which typically is always gonna be much less. And then um, this is my totals. So I mean, not sure the two the differences if there is any for these two um, columns. I don't think there is, unless I unless they were to like just oops my bad. Unless they were to uh, put pay rate and miles together or something. I don't know. Anyway, so for the first week I came on the road from August 15th to the 21st. You can see here, I uh, did very good uh, coming out. I did 2,800 miles. I should have highlighted these two, but my bad. 2,800 miles. If you do 28 times 0.64, it would get close to this. It should be $100 off, and that's for that uh, layover pay that you guys saw earlier. They took $293 out in Texas. Um, as you can see here, for those who mentioning some stuff about taxes everybody is set up differently uh, if you don't know that you probably haven't worked enough uh, people also have asked me about the per diem I have no clue what this is for but I'm not getting paid or losing money from it because as you can see they first take the money out then they give it back to me so nothing happens here and as you look here right oh well you would actually have to do the math. I'm not going to do it for you, but if you add all of this up together, it should equal out to um, 
1932-32. Should. I, like I said, I haven't done the math for this. I've just been a lot on my mind. Anywho, showing the same thing here. This is what they took out for dental, legal, uh, medical, and vision over here. Um, so after they took all deductions out, so they took out... 293 and then another 113 so after all expenses i brought home net pay deposited in my bank 1525 so 1525 dollars for week one um i'll go over the year afterwards so second week on the road here it is again because everyone's asking what do what's my average mileage per week was my average pay per week. It always fluctuates, and trust me, you're gonna see that in this video here. So, um, this is from 8:22 to 8:28, August 22nd to August 28th. Uh, same thing with the marking out. This is, was just straight long runs. This is the most miles I've ever driven in my life, and probably more than anybody in the company, if I'm being completely honest. And for those who may be in the comment section talking about, oh, I've I driven way more than those. I'm talking about a KLLM company driver who is governed at 62 miles an hour on the pedal and 65 miles an hour on cruise control. If you say that you're with KLLM and you're a company driver with the same... Um, speed as me and you saying that you beat th this miles this many miles in a single week I'm gonna tell you right now you are a liar and I don't believe you and I will only believe you if you show proof so if you want to put that in the in the messages I mean in the um, comments down below that you have just know I'm not gonna believe you uh, my Instagram should be linked down below or attached to this video again I haven't edited it yet so if you truly have you can screenshot that and send it to me, but I doubt it because I barely believe these miles. This is incredible. I did 234, well, I'll probably break it down in another video, but basically I did 234 breaks and I ran the entire time until my clock was gone, basically, but you know, I did 234. So I can break down the actual miles that I ran each day by going back in the system. I should have recorded that, but again, I probably uh, break that down in another video. And I did, this is, and as you can see, there's no, this is load, load, loads. Like, there is no um, sit and pay. There's no layover detention or anything like that. And I made 2,426 as a company solo driver. This is just me. This is absolutely incredible. I was very proud of myself. This day, they took, um, I mean, this week, they took $479 in taxes pretty crazy but hey that money was fat so i don't care uh, they only took vision and medical out um so only 56 so i brought home 1890 dollars as a company driver this is absolutely insane this is week two okay week three week three was pretty bad um but it gets worse trust me this was a a up and down so this is august 29th to uh september 4th and as you can see this is week by week for seven weeks straight so again week three um only 1900 miles uh no layover or anything um trip pay i'm not sure what trip pay is maybe it was such a small load i have no idea what what that's for uh, I guess maybe it was a local load or something, but I only brought home or only made 1200 for the whole week. So there's ups and downs, 144 in taxes, uh, 56 for medical, vision, legal, and uh, dental. And then I only brought home a total of $1,070. That was uh, pretty tough. I did not like that at all. They had me sitting a couple of days. Can't fully remember because, again, if I already did seven weeks this is week three you know that was too far i don't remember now this week is the worst week i've done in my life but there's a reason and i'll explain that so i only did 1100 miles for the entire week why is this so big actually let's see there we go that's much better much thinner only made 775 before taxes 
terrible. They only took $40 out. That's when you know you only made a little bit of money if they only take $40 out on taxes, okay? $99 for all of this. They took out an advance. I don't remember making an advance. I think they paid that back to me the, uh, next week. We're going to see. We're looking at this together. I only net, I only brought home in my bank $580. This was terrible, but there was 700 miles this week that they gave me the week I'm about to show next. Um, and it's because I forgot to submit the paperwork. And even though I personally forgot to submit the paperwork, KLLM is so good that they sent me messages. Obviously, I noticed it right away anyway, but they were sending me messages saying that I need to submit the bills. So they're not going to leave you hanging. They're not going to um, try to screw you over. So this is the next week following. And as you can see, oh, my bad. Let me show you all. This is September 12th to September 18th. So over here was September 11th. Yeah, so very next week, September 12th to September 18th. I did 3,000 miles, which take off 700, uh, 2,300 miles is what I actually did this week. Like I said, um, oh no, right there, it shows it. Cool. Yeah, see, so 24. Oh no, no, yeah, yeah, okay, that's wrong, yeah. Let me see if I can find it here. Mm, I'm assuming this one. Oh yeah, you can see the date here, 9-6 to 9-11 so this here the 570 and the 133 is what they did not pay me on the last check so technically I made I didn't this wasn't a 3,000 mile week this was about a 2300 mile week but still I brought home I'm not sure why that's in red brought home or I got paid 1,959 they took out Oh, that's why, because it's in a different location. I, I must have not been thinking. They took out $320 in taxes and $120 from medical and all that. And then I brought home $1,500. So technically, you can count this as two small weeks because... Actually, I would have to do... The, I'll do the math real quick and probably cut the video. Okay, in case I did not cut the video, that's four hundred dollars. Seven hundred miles times sixty-four cents is about uh, four hundred forty-eight dollars. So technically, I made about eleven hundred here and nine hundred on this week. So nine hundred, eleven hundred. If you don't understand that and I just confused, I apologize. Just do the math for what's in the screenshots. Don't worry about what I said. And then this is the second to last week, September 19th to September 25th. This week was also not that good. They obviously had me sitting again. I only did 1,800 miles. I There's weeks I got paid that much, so that's obviously terrible. And I only got paid before taxes. 1,173 so I was not happy about that they took out 105 in taxes um, and then they took out 122 for vision and stuff and in my bank account I uh, net 946 so was not happy about that but that you know that's trucking you're gonna have ups and downs that's why when y'all ask me in the comments like what do I average per week I don't have a definitive answer because it fluctuates, but overall, I'm winning. So even for these small weeks when people are like, oh, but you're showing the, the big weeks. First off, I don't because I'm showing consecutive weeks here. But even if I was, and there's one more paycheck, um, even if I was showing skipping around, I mean, there's, there's always going to be ups and downs. There is no definitive amount of miles that you're going to run especially if you're otr now there is some companies like martin i believe that does a guarantee pay for otr drivers as well but yeah and then the final week there's a lot here um for september 26th to october 2nd i ran crazy they actually sent me a load on the way home y'all probably already saw that but oh well whatever 
Where is it? Right. Oh, it doesn't show, but somewhere around here, they sent me a load going to um, California, but I said I needed to go home, obviously, and I wouldn't have made it home if I took the California run. So, unfortunately, I missed out on some money there, but I gained money because I was in I was in Texas, and they had to send me back up to um Maryland because that's where I live so I knew I was going to get good miles anyway but I would have got more miles if I went all the way to California then all the way back to Maryland but it's very important for me to get home on time especially being on the road for seven weeks um, it's not fun so anyway this week I killed it this week I killed it but it's also because they gave me the bonus which I explained in a different video um, they gave me the bonus for working the full five weeks and getting a certain amount of miles on the full five weeks of September. And I guess they paid me in, let me make sure this is, yeah, okay. And they paid me that bonus, where is it? It's, oh, right here. $587 is what they paid me. Productivity bonus. I do not play around when I'm on that road. For this week alone, I made $2,537 as a solo driver, only 3,000 miles, so that 587 definitely boosted it up a whole lot. However, unfortunately, taxes hit, and that was already 500, so I would have made 2,000 net, but no. I have to stay in Baltimore, Maryland, where I got a ticket for parking where I'm not supposed to. And they took right here uh, $64 for one ticket and $160 for a different ticket. So yes, that's my fault. And I was pretty upset about it because obviously they took out another $280 on top of the 516 so for a $2,500 check I only brought home 1739 I was pretty upset I'm sure anyone would be like this is the most money I've ever made in a single week and everything came out and I got less than what I did on my largest week miles only and this is miles and a bonus but you know it's my fault so I can't really be mad at it I'm the type of person where it's like oh well you know if it's my fault it's my fault I can't be mad at it you know it's on me but what I want to show y'all here sorry it's blurry year to date as of October 2nd I'm at $55,704 and taxes they took $8,500 out so far. So for everyone that's wondering like how much do you wait, make per week and all that, in reality like I said it fluctuates overall is good and again I'm going to show the totals if you haven't already done it. I will show the total in the video of what I made for the entire 7 weeks not uh, uh, before taxes because that's what's important because everyone's taxes situation is different and if you don't get a ticket obviously you would make more money so i'm gonna show the numbers for before taxes and after tax for those who everyone's different some people only care about what i made after tax some people care about what i made before in my opinion the before is what matters because again it's different for per person for people that got kids or if you have um to pay tickets or if you have to pay child support but it's only October the beginning of October so I got the rest of October November and December and I'm already at fifty five thousand dollars for the year so if you really want to know is trucking still paying good fifty five thousand some people most people don't make fifty five thousand in the entire year I would say if you're making under fifty thousand dollars definitely get into trucking if it's KLM, um the money is still pretty good um with that being said um i will put the total amounts here 
of what I made for the entire year. So, uh, I love y'all, man. I love everybody, man. Peace, love, and light. I hope y'all stay safe. Hope y'all drive safe. Hope y'all share positivity, man. All I have for y'all is love, man. Be safe. Mr. Smooth, out. So for those of you who are like me and maybe listen to videos while driving or for some reason you're not able to look at the video or just don't feel like it, I decided I'm going to make a little audio message explaining it to you guys. But um, before taxes and any expenses, I made a total of $12,025.72. After taxes and all other expenses, I brought home to my bank account that deposited into my bank account was $9,274.71. Before taxes with home time, so including that $1,400 that Obviously, I didn't show because I will be getting that next week as of recording this video, but it's included with the seven weeks of pay before taxes uh, and any money taken out, including the home time pay. I made thirteen thousand four hundred twenty five dollars and seventy two cents. And after taxes with home time pay. Um, so this is just me throwing in home time pay, not taking out the taxes that they're probably going to take out, is $10,674.71 into my bank account. And they're probably going to take, I would assume, three to $500 out. So basically in my account for seven weeks worth of working, I made $10,000 into my account. And total deductions for all seven weeks they took out a total of $2,751.01. And again, you have to remember that I did have the two payments for a ticket for um, being a semi-truck parked in a residential area, which there was no truck, uh, no truck sign parking uh, there, but that's another video. Um, and then obviously I can't include what they were taking out with the bonus. So there you have it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something and hope this is settling in some way, shape or form. So with that being said, man, Mr. Smooth out. Like, comment, subscribe.